Yeah, Mario, check this out. The two just slipped away for a romantic getaway in Mexico, and now Brit's mom is saying this guy, oh yeah, he's marriage material. That kicks off tonight. Couple's news. Love say Britney Spears. That's the claim on Us Weekly. 145 pounds. She looks great. She really does. Yeah. That's coming up. Theory about Dave's dalliances. Why do you think he chose women he worked with? It has to do with power and control. So he probably gravitated towards people that elicited that feeling for him. So could Dave be a sex addict? What exactly is a sex addict? It has a lot to do with power, control, intensity. Usually there's a deep, deep, deep unconscious fear of intimacy. It's interesting that when someone's married and he has extramarital affairs, he becomes a sex addict. But when he's single, he's just a stud. Not necessarily, well, sex addiction, to be labeled an addiction, there has to be negative consequences. Jermaine Jackson moments after dancing's tribute to Michael. How are the kids? One of the dancers actually wore a jacket that Michael Jackson gave him, and there's only two of them in the world. Plus, incredible new footage from This Is It. What Michael did. How are the kids? The kids are wonderful. They are? Have yeah. you been talking to them and yeah. helping them through Well, this? they're with my kids every day, so I get a lot of them. I'm, take, I'm taking them all to the movies tomorrow. Backstage, everyone was swept up in Michael Mania. Michael Jackson used to watch the show. Is that crazy for you to know that he was watching you? You know, we hope he was watching from above. I mean, maybe he saw the tribute and was smiling and laughing with us. Remember when Aaron Carter first showed us his prized possession? Michael actually gave this to me. Last night, he had a piece of Michael close to him. This is the jacket Michael gave Aaron. There are only two jackets like this in the world. In the world. And when he handed it to me, it was just kind of like, here you go. What you're doing is right. And he said, I've been watching you since you were five years old doing this. Keeping now, Courtney Cox is looking good in her bikini. And Lauren, I got to say, I think she looks better now at 45 than ever. I agree. I mean, so I felt it was my duty to all women to find out what she's been doing and how she likes doing those love scenes with all those young guys. Mm. Fantastic. <laughs> you look amazing. Oh, uh, thank you. Unbelievable. Did you work out like 10 times a day or? I work out, yeah. I do try pretty hard. And it shows. Courtney Cox, yes, yeah, she really is 45. She gave me her Stay Young secrets on the set of her hit ABC show, Cougar Town, in which she plays a sexy divorced mom with a weakness for younger men. Hey, stranger. Wow. You were Cougar before Cougar was Couture. That's right. Yep, Courtney's has insecurities just like the rest of us. An episode that you'll see soon, I'm in a white bikini, and that was pretty tough. I mean, that was that was brutal. Okay, what was brutal about it? I mean, well, I mean I'm, you, I, I, I'm too old to be on a beach in a bikini and a white one at that. Tonight on Cougar Town, Courtney's giving her young guy a lesson in mouth-to-mouth. Okay, Lauren, new day, new Gerard Butler romance room. The ladies love this guy, and now we're hearing he may be with Jessica Simpson. AJ's got that part of the story. He's in our Planet Hollywood studio. AJ. Hey, guys, a new report saying the two had dinner along. Now, and you were telling me about your emotional interview with Mary Murphy. Yeah, Mario, the So You Think You Can Dance judge is defending her decision to talk about what she calls nine years of living hell with her ex-husband. <laughs> Mary Murphy's signature scream, as much a reason as the moves to tune in to So You Think You Can Dance. <laughs> it's that laugh that everyone sees and that outgoing personality. But then, you know, you read the cover of Us Weekly and it was How I Survived Abuse. I destroyed her. Now she's opening up to me about her struggle for independence. Some of it is the fact that I was told so many times that I would be homeless. And I did leave a couple times and it was really difficult. I couldn't make it on my own. Does it affect your relationships that you... Well, the fans wanted it, and now they got him. Jake, the wholesome pilot, has been named the new Bachelor. Terry just met up with a hunky new reality star, and she got some video I know you're going to want to see. Jake Pavelka, the new Bachelor, stripped. I thought the Michael Jackson tribute was amazing this week on Dancing with the Stars. And just minutes after the performance, I talked with Jermaine Jackson and got an update on Michael's kids. December 1st. Another hot artist is back with a new disc and a whole new sound. Nelly Furtado's latest album was recorded entirely in Spanish. She stopped by the set for a little girl talk and an impromptu performance. Yeah, sure. I heard somewhere that you said that when you were 40, you wanted to pose for Playboy. They asked me to do a fully clothed pictorial for their music issue for like 
an insane amount of money. And I said, no, who knows, I might wake up at 40 and look in the mirror and decide, all right, I'm <laughs> taking off my clothes. Of course, we couldn't let Nelly take off before trying out our cool new DJ gadget on the Microsoft Surface. Yeah, let's try hip hop. Okay. When you hear a beat, do yeah. you think of words to go with it or? <laughs> yeah. And an extra lounge. Contigo, si. Thanks, Nelly. We like hanging with you too. Total U2 mania and Lawrence with President Bill Clinton at the mega show. If you were supposed to come, you would have been in the box with President Bill Clinton, Jessica Alba, and then dinner afterwards was even better. Today's big rumors, ESPN Steve. Okay, I couldn't go to the Rose Bowl concert because my ears were still ringing from Friday's concert in Vegas. I know, and I know you were also in good company. Oh, so much fun, Jessica Alba and a guy you might have heard of, President Bill Clinton. Oh, killing me, I'm supposed to be there. Okay, and if you can believe this, we had even more fun after the concert. We went to dinner, President Clinton, Bono, and Sean Penn. Uh, what'd you guys talk about? Oh, we talked about everything from politics to charity to even marriage. That's a cool dinner party right there. Rose Bowl show, historic. Everyone watching on YouTube. Night Train to Georgia. Yeah, that's like the that. jam right there. I love that song. Midnight Train to Georgia was a number one hit back in 1973. Yeah, but Mara, I bet you never knew this. It was written about Farrah Fawcett. There was no train and there was no Georgia. The untold story of how a young un... Big piece of... Hey, I'm just being honest. Y'all are trying to be all nice today. Those housewives from the ATL up in L.A. and raw as ever. I appreciate that I'm insane. I appreciate I'm dumb, <laughs> I'm dumb and insane. No problem, Kim, because extra friends appreciate you. Did you ever pose nude for Playboy? Chris, I'm not so sure about the whole Playboy thing. You'll have to wait and see what happens. We were first to show you Kim and Nene back like BFFs out on the town in Beverly Hills. And yes, the two really have buried the hatchet. Cause I tune in. Yeah, you'll definitely have to tune see, in. Look at you. Look at you. She always has that answer. It's so cute to. For more raw moments with the housewives, Help! head over to extratv.com. Those girls are crazy. I love them. I know, but so watchable. <laughs> okay, Mario. So you know, I'm a little bit of a fashion diva, right? Yes, I know that. Okay, well, there's these brand of jeans that every star is wearing right now, and I just found them 50% off. Right on. AG Jeans. Look. Okay, Lauren, what do you got? I got some good stuff. Former bachelorette Deanna Pappas has a new boyfriend. Really? Mm -hmm. Do we know? Well, kind of. Okay, you remember former Bachelorette Jillian? Yes. Well, she went to meet the parents of finalist Michael. Okay. Okay, well, Michael happens to have a twin brother, Steven Stagliano. <laughs> That's Deanna's new boyfriend. You know, I actually talked to Deanna about what she wants in a guy. I want somebody for it, but I gotta tell you, Carlos and Sarah Palin, that's pretty good. Okay, how about this? John Goslin and Optimum going out on a date. No, that's not real. In Touch says they're doing it for a show. John Goslin's people, they're denying it, so it might just be that, a rumor. They'd be like their own community, their own neighborhood with all those kids. Okay, that is the rumor of the day. Forever. All right, you guys cut. Let's just, I, I need to talk about the whole fishnets because most women's legs do not look good as yours. Okay, let's fishnets. not talk about the fishnet thing anymore, please. Let's talk about me hanging out with Kay Gosselin, huh? She was actually really nice. I ended up giving her my number. A platonic thing. She must like guys in fishnets. Oh, very funny. 